Okay, we start right now. Um, let's go. The objective of the class is to start with estimates of fractions. Let's start the class now. Okay, first, uh, remember how to. Oh, wait, wait, here. Hello. Okay, this is the problem number one. We need to compare two different fractions. The first fraction, we need to know which is uh, the greatest fraction. And remember, the Pac Man always is the, the greatest one. Okay, in this case, one half. One half is exactly, let me write it. Oh, wait, let me see. Can you hear me? Okay, can you hear me? One half, one half is exactly this point. Here is one half. Let me mute to you because I can hear pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna mute for a moment. When you have a question, you have to unmute yourself. Okay, only when you have a question, you unmute. Okay, let's start. And first, we need to identify which is smaller or greatest. The uh, one half is exactly here. And let me write another. Okay, and nine tenths. Nine tenths is almost ten tenths, right? Nine tenths is almost here. Here is nine over ten. Okay, now what fraction is the greatest one? Camila? What fraction is the greatest? One half or nine tenth? Remember, the greatest is the, the number who is closer to be one. This is zero, this is one. Always. Okay. What um, fraction is nine. the greatest? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Nine what? Nine tenth. Nine tenth is the greatest. Okay. Okay, try to use the number line if that confused to you because that's easy to understand. Let's do the number two. In the problem number two, we have uh, by 12 and one half. Let's put a one, let's right here, wait. Okay, one and a half is the middle. This is one and a half and we are in between zero and a, a unit, a unit is two over two. Okay, one half is exactly here. Now we need to put where is the phi 12? Phi 12 on this case, here is zero 12. Here is 12, 12, that is equal to one, a unit. And the middle, what is the middle of 12? ¿Cuánto es la mitad de 12? Six, right? I will put it here in exactly the middle, 6, 12. Okay, now, 5, 12 is to the right or to the left? 5, 12 is to the left or right? Where is 5, 12 located? Where is 5, 12 located? This Please? is going for Jaden. Oh, yeah, who is talking? Um, um. Okay, uh, now, 5, 12 it's almost here, right? This is 5, 12. It's to the left. Okay, uh, now tell me, what fraction is the greatest one? One half or 5, 12? Who is closer to be one? The, this for Violet. Violet, mm -hmm. what is the greatest fraction? One half or 5, 12? The uh, baby. Sorry, can you repeat it again? He said, I don't listen very good the question. Okay, uh, Violet, tell me, what fraction, what fraction is the greatest? One half or five twelve? What is the, the fraction that is greatest? Or closer hey. to be one? What? what fraction is the most grande aquí? One half or five twelve? One half. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's one half because one half is closer to be one. It's closer to be one. Five. Look at five twelve. Mm, has a lot of space to go to one. Five. One half 
is the greatest fraction, like this, okay? Okay, now we need to compare one half. Remember, one half is exactly in the middle. That's one half. This is zero half, and here's two over two. That's equal to unit, and here is one half. This is one half. Okay, now we need to put three tenths, uh, three ninths. Okay, this is zero nine, one nine, two nine, three nine. Oh, it's here, three nine. Okay, and here's going to be nine over nine. Okay, nine over nine is the same like the unit. Okay, now, what fraction is the greatest one? One half or three ninths? This is going for, let me see who is kinetic now. Margie. Margie, what fraction is the greatest? One half or three ninths? Margie, ¿cuál es la que está más cerca de llegar al uno? ¿Cuál de esas pelotitas está más cerca de ser uno? Mm -hmm. Yeah? One what? One, two. One half. One half of one over two. That's good. One half. That's excellent. One half is the bigger fraction in this case. Let's go ahead and do the number four. In the number four, I have four eighths and one half. Okay, let's put one half. It's exactly in the middle. That's the half, like a half of the orange. You have two exactly oranges. Okay, this is one half. And let's find a four eight. Okay, here has to be divided the number line in eight parts. Why in eight parts? Because the denominator tell you how many parts divided the fraction. Okay, in here we have four and we need eight parts. If you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I divide in eight equal parts. It's supposed to be equal. Okay, now let's write it. The first is one eight, two eight, three eights. And here we are in four eights. Okay, let me stop here. Now, this is going for, let me see what's connected. Mm, okay, how many students are now? Oh, Camila. Okay, tell me. I, yeah, Cam Patricia. Patricia. Okay. Patricia, uh, tell me what fraction is uh, the greatest one? One half or four eighths? The great one is um wait okay Is tell me the great okay. one is the number one um, half or four, four eight. eight okay now eight. tell me Jaden. is that true Jaden? it's one it's uh four eight the greatest than one half or who is the greatest in this case um, four over eight. Okay, no, in this case, if you see, are equal. The both fraction are equals, equals fraction, yeah? Neither are greatest or smaller, are exactly the same because are in the middle. That's the number four. You have to be careful to choose the greatest or smallest because could be the equal two. Okay, let's do the number. This will be the number uh, five. In this case, it's a little complicated because if you see, we need to add. Miss. And the number five, we need to compare. But in this case, if you see, we need to compare a, a, an assum or fractions in here to choose who is the greatest number. Okay, we need to do this first. Remember, when you have the same denominator, what I have to do? When I have the same denominator, um, Violet, what do I need to do when I have the same denominator? So, okay, in the case in the denominator, the denominator keep the same. Copy the denominator and sum the numerator. Numerator is this. 
Okay, look, I have a seven in a unit. What is the greatest? First, we need to see the fraction is proper or improper. Um, Jaden, is the fraction proper or improper? Me, what Hi, uh, Jaden, is the fraction proper or improper? Camila? Miranda? Improper. It's improper, very good. What happened when improper fraction? What do I need to do? Okay, we are on page uh, 283. 283. Let me write it. 283, the problem number five. Okay, you need to divide. Let's divide. Let me change the color to divide. A divided by seven. By this is just one time. One times seven is seven. Let's yeah. subtract oh, one. Okay, now, how to write this like a mixed number? Do you remember how to write uh, as a mixed number? Uh, yes, Camila, Miranda. Poner el uno en grande, mm -hmm. siete abajo y arriba el uno. Excellent, very good, that's it. Now tell me you, this is going for violet. Violet, what um, fraction is the greatest one? A unit or seven one seven? I'm sorry, a unit or one one seven? One one seven. Excellent, very good. That is the greatest fraction, very good. But if you see what you have to do first, you need to add and then compare it, okay? You have to do on um, those examples. Let's do the number six. Perfect. Okay, good. Now let's do the problem number, uh, this is the, oh wait, I, I moved the page. Okay, we are in the page uh, five. Let's do, I'm sorry, uh, uh, let's do the number six in the same page, 283. Hell, let me erase this. We're in the page 283, the problem number six. This is the problem number six. Remember, we have an addition in this case. It's exactly the same, uh, the, the same problem that we did, already did. Okay, now we need to... Okay, what, what is the greatest or the smaller? Okay, this is going for, can you mute your, your microphone works? Yes? Yes. Okay, Jaden, that's your turn. Tell me, Jaden, what I have to do on this case? What I need to do? Um, subtract. Are you sure we need to subtract? Margie? Oh, no, 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 no. Margie, what do we need to do? Sorry, Miss, I put, I put the hand. Ah, okay. In uh, accident. No, okay, uh, Camila Miranda, what do I uh, need to do? Tiene que poner... Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, excellent, very good. Okay. okay, that's excellent. Remember, you can add or subtract if you don't have the same denominator. We need to find the same denominator. That's exactly what we have to do, Camille. Very good. We need to copy the table, the table of two and the table of ten. Two times uh, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for a moment and now copy the table of 10. 10 times 1, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, now, do I, uh, do I have a, a common number in the table of 2 and 10? Yes, do I have? Those, yes, those, yes. Oh, very good. Yes, I have a 10. Yeah, very good. I take this and this. Okay, my common number, my common number will be 10 in this case. Okay, now we need, let me erase this because I need to, I need to change the denominator to have 10. Okay, let me change this. I will write again the one half. Oh, wait. I will write again one half. And we need to change by a number. 210, you have to copy it again. 
And now we need to find a number multiplied by two that give me 10. Give me one number multiplied by two, give me 10. Two. Two? Two times two is 10? No, five, 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 five. Oh, five. very good. Two times five. I have to write a number five here. Two times five is 10. Okay, let me write here, 10. And five times one? Five times five. one? Five. five, very good. Five. Thick word. Okay, now, do I have to change 10? Do I need to no. multiply? No, because the unique number is one and it's the same fraction. I don't have to copy. Now I can, I can uh, uh, add in this case. Five plus two. Um, seven. Seven. Seven, seven, seven over ten. Okay, now we compare. Look at what we're going to do. I erase this because that confused me a lot. And I will write them my uh, my answer. In this case, my sum that is seven over ten. Now, what uh, what number is the greatest a fraction? Seven, one, number. one one is always greatest than a fraction. Okay, yes. that's good. Excellent. The number one is the greatest. That's the number 200, uh, the problem number six in the page 283. Let's do the number seven. The number seven, let me erase here. And the number seven is the same page, 283. And the number seven, we have uh, an addition. We have uh, five over 10 plus one quarter or one four. Oh, I'm sorry, in this case, we need to compare. We compare with, uh, let me see, with one. I need to see what fraction or the, the unit is the greatest. I need to choose the right or the answer to the left. What is the greatest number? But in this case, have to do exactly the same. Why? Because we don't have the same denominator. We don't have the same denominator. What do I need to do? Eh, poner la tabla del 10 y la del 4. Okay, lo que tienen que hacer. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Okay, uh, in this case, when you have a light denominator, you always have to copy first, find the common uh, denominator, copy the table of 4, and copy the table of 10. 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 2. Eight of uh, four times th uh, three, twelve. Uh, four times four, sixteen. Four times five, twenty. Four times six, twenty-four. Okay, I'm gonna start for a moment. I'm gonna stop because I'm not sure if I have it or not. Let's start with a table of ten. That's easy. Ten times one, ten. Ten times two, twenty. Ten times three, thirty. Forty. Okay. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, oh, 20, 20, 20. yes, it is. 20, 20, 20 is my 20. common number. In this case, my common number is, oh, oh I'm sorry, 20. 20. Very good. I need to change my denominator to have 20. Okay, how to do this? Oh, wait, let me, let me erase this. Oh, yeah, let's erase. Okay, let's write again. Five, oh, I'm sorry. Five over 10. I need to change my denominator to have 20, remember? And one quarter, I need to change my denominator to have 20. Okay, in the table of 10, a number that multiplied by 10, give me 20 is 10 times one, 10 times times two. Yes, I need to multiply 10 by times 10. two. Very good, copy the same number up and down. Okay, in the table of four, a number that give me 20, Four times one, four, four times two, four times four, sixteen, four times five, four times five, four times five. I copy the five and you have to repeat the same number up. Okay, now we need to multiply. Let's multiply. Remember the number up with the number up. Two times five is ten. Two times ten is twenty. Now, five times one, five. Four times five, 20. Now they have the same denominator. 
Now I can, I, I can um, add in this case, copy the denominator and add the numerator. 10 plus five, 15. Okay, now that's my new answer. Let me move this away and write my new answer. In this case is, oh wait, 15 over 20. Okay, now what is the fraction, uh, what is the greatest fraction? In this case, what is the greatest number? One or 15, 20? One. One, very good. Todas las fracciones propias siempre son menores a uno. Todas las fracciones propias. Siempre, 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 siempre van a ser menores a uno. Así que en este caso, the number one is the greatest number. Very good, excellent. Okay, I think you can do it by yourself. You can do this problem by yourself. So let's go, let's go to the next topic. The next two topics are really easy. Say hello. Okay, the next, uh, let me, okay. Let me go to the next problem. Okay, let me tell you something. Uh, what page is this? Okay, look at uh, Okay, look at this part. Don't do the the now try this. Don't do the now try this because you need to use a calculator. Don't do the now try this. Me. Yeah, tell me. Don't do this. What page? Uh this is on per, page 284. 284. Don't do the now try this because you need to use a calculator. You don't have to do it. Yeah. Okay, let's continue on this case. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let me change. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I confused. I I think you go to the next topic. Yeah, Sorry. I'm going to the next topic. Going to the next topic. Okay, this is the next oh. topic. I'm sorry, I said you have to go to the next uh, topic. Uh, we're now on page 285. Uh, the topic <laughs> is, I'm pretty sure you can add and subtract with different online denominators. We're going to add, uh, sorry, we're going to subtract two fraction with a uh, denominator are multiples. I don't know. Okay. Vamos a hacer esta. Diferentes denominadores, yo sé que saben hacer con diferentes denominadores. Así que ahorita lo vamos a hacer. Ok, let me change this for a moment. Change the... Ok, let's do the problem number one. In the problem number one, we need to subtract. ¿Qué tengo que hacer, Emily, en este caso, cuando yo tengo diferentes denominadores? Emily, ¿qué tengo que hacer cuando tengo diferentes denominadores? Lo que hemos estado haciendo. ¿Puedo restar con diferentes denominadores, sí o no? No. no. Oh, mm -mm. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer, Jaden? Oh, don't do that, please. Okay, let me erase this. Someone was uh, drawing on the, on the uh, board here, on the screen. Okay, uh, when you have uh, the same denominators, we need to find a common number. In this case, how to find? You have to write, I'm sorry. You need to write the table of six and the table of three at the same time. Six times one, six. Six times two, 12. Six times three, 18. Six times four, 24. Six times, oh, so, okay, let's stop here and now let's start with the table of three. Three times one, three. Three times two, six. Three times three, nine. Uh, three uh, times four, twelve. Do we have a number in common? Yes, six. What, what number? Six and twelve. Oh, good. Okay, what number do I need to pick? Uh, the six or twelve? Six. Very good. Always pick the smallest number. In this case, will be six. six. Okay, let's change the fraction. How to change the fraction? Look what I'm going to do. 
uh, for changing the fraction, we need to find a um, denominator that give me, in this case, a number, a factor to multiply by six that give me six. In this case, one, give me six. Five times one is five, six times one is six. In the second case, I have three, by which number I need to multiply. ¿Por qué número tengo que by multiplicar? Two. Oh, very good, very good, by two. Three times two is six, uh, one times two is two. That's my number that I need to subtract. Let's subtract. But copy the denominator and let's I subtract. I don't understand this new lesson. Oh, this is exactly the same. Let me erase, let me do it in another way because I think how I did it, probably confused to you. Okay, I'm gonna do the same. Let me, let me write it again. Remember the common number was six. Let me, yes. let me, let me write again the same problem. We have five over six minus one over three, right? And yes. we decide the number was six. Este no lo voy a cambiar. ¿Por qué razón no lo voy a cambiar? Porque ya tenemos seis en el denominador. No lo cambiamos. Sí, dejémoslo así. No lo tocamos. Just copy the fraction like this. But I need to change this. One third. Okay, in this case, I put one third. And by the number that I need to change my fraction. In this case, you told me was two. Why two? Because three times two gives me six. If you choose two... You have to write in the numerator too. Okay, now, this is the same number, and now one times two, two. Three times two, six. Now six. we have the same denominator. Now we can subtract. Remember, when you have the same denominator, copy the denominator. Five minus two, Remember five minus two? Three. Three over six. Remember that? Okay, that was the answer. Copy that. It was the problem number one. It was exactly the same. We find a common denominator, and when we multiply, then subtract, and that's my answer. Three over six. Three over six. Okay. Let's do the number, the problem number, let me see, the problem number two. In the problem number two. Mm -hmm. You have to write it here, three over six. Okay, let me explain you the next. Let's do the problem number two. Let's do the problem number two. Okay, this is the problem number two. Don't worry. Se conectan de nuevo, porque este es el tema que ustedes tienen bastante dificultades. Ok, ya vamos a terminar. Solo hacemos la primera lección y ustedes terminan la segunda lección. Ok, Sharon, are you cold? Yeah. <laughs> ok, uh, what I have to do in this case, we have, the, we have different denominators. We need to find a common denominator. Okay, copy the denominator. Oh, wait, let me write it. Copy the denominator, copy the numbers. Okay, uh, we need to find the, the table of two and the 12 because we pick the denominators. 12 times 12, 12 times one is 12. 12 times two, 24. Okay, 12 24. times 3, 36. Okay, let's stop here. And now let's start with the table of 2. 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 4, um, 8, uh, 2 times 5, 10, 2 times 10. 6, 12. Oh, I have a common denominator. Do you see? Yes. What would be? It's 12. It's 12, my denominator. Okay, in this case, I need to find, okay, I find, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, in this case, I need to change the denominator to have 12. 
Okay, let me write it. Let me write it. Seven, twelve. I'm not gonna change it. I'm not going to change it because I have twelve. I need to change one half. Remember, we put uh, put a, a, a multiplication, and we need to find a number that multiply times two. Give me 12. ¿Qué número multiplicado por 2 me da 12? 6. Eh, oh, very good. It's 6. It's 6. Okay, we need to write. Six. Oh, yes, excellent. Very good. It's 6. Let me write it. You have to write number 6 here and 6 here. And now you have 7 over 12. And here, 1 times 6, 6. 2 times 6, now we have the same denominator. We have the same denominator. Copy the denominator and subtract 7 minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. It's 1, one. right? Very good. Yeah. 1 over 12. That's my answer. My answer is 1 over 12. 1 12. That's for the number 2. It's exactly the same that addition, right? 